Welcome back to The Political Classroom. In this episode, we explore the political philosophy of Jean Jacques Rousseau, a prominent Enlightenment thinker whose ideas have had a profound impact on political thought. Rousseau's works challenged the prevailing views of his time and continue to resonate in modern political discourse. Join us as we delve into the key concepts of Rousseau's political philosophy. Jean Jacques Rousseau's political philosophy begins with the concept of the state of nature a hypothetical pre-political condition where individuals live in a state of natural freedom and equality. In this state, humans are not governed by laws or institutions, and their actions are driven by natural instincts. There are no established hierarchies, no government imposing rules, and no private property to create divisions among individuals. Instead, it is a world of natural freedom and equality. Rousseau imagined this state as a harmonious existence where individuals interacted freely and shared resources for their mutual benefit. Conflict, as we see in modern societies, was absent, as there was no property to dispute or wealth to accumulate. However, Rousseau acknowledged that the state of nature had its challenges. Life in this primitive condition was precarious, and individuals faced threats from nature itself and other individuals. To overcome these challenges, Rousseau proposed the concept of the social contract. According to Rousseau, individuals voluntarily agree to form a social contract with one another. This contract is a mutual agreement among members of a society to create a government and abide by its laws. In this agreement, they willingly give up some of the natural freedom in exchange for protection, security, and the benefits of a structured society. Rousseau posits that in order to overcome the challenges of the state of nature and to establish a just and orderly society, individuals must enter into a social contract with one another. This social contract, based on mutual consent, forms the basis for the legitimate authority of the government. One of Rousseau's most significant contributions is the concept of the general will. According to him, the general will represents the collective and common interest of the entire community, not merely the preferences of individuals or specific groups. Rousseau believed that the government should act in accordance with the general will to ensure the well-being of the society as a whole. Rousseau championed the idea of popular sovereignty where ultimate political authority resides with the people. In his view, the people are the true sovereigns, and the government's role is to carry out the general will expressed by the people. Rousseau advocated for a form of direct democracy, where citizens actively participate in decision-making processes and governance. He believed that direct democracy allows for the most genuine expression of the general will and helps to prevent the corruption of power. While emphasizing the importance of the collective, Rousseau was also concerned about individual freedom. He argued that genuine freedom comes from following the general will, as it represents what is best for the community as a whole and ensures the well-being of all individuals. Rousseau placed great importance on education in his political philosophy. He believed that a proper education, focused on moral and civic virtues, is essential to cultivate citizens who are capable of understanding and participating in the democratic process responsibly. Rousseau was critical of the existing social and economic inequalities of his time. He believed that private property and unequal distribution of wealth led to the corruption of the natural goodness of humanity and create divisions within society. Rousseau's political philosophy has left an indelible mark on the world of political thought. His ideas on the state of nature, the social contract, the general will, and direct democracy continue to inspire discussions on the nature of governance, individual freedom, and the role of citizens in shaping their societies. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our channel for more enlightening content.